Coach Abel here, along with Coach Weiss, the Able Body Experts, and I'm going to demonstrate a little finisher combination for you for chest work. Again, capitalizing on what we know about how the chest functions and what ranges and planes of motion it functions best. And sometimes the best way to manipulate that is to use two movements in one. So Kevin's going to show us, he's going to start with the horizontal Able Cable flies. So he gets that continuous tension going on the chest. The feet are always up on the bench. He's going to bring those down. You do these for like 12 to 15 reps. Look at that range of motion. Awesome. So you get all that activation without all the shoulder strain. And I'll grab one of these from you, Kev. So that's. He's going to move right in from there. He's going to move right in from the flat dumbbell press. Feet up. And he comes above the eyes, presses and flies, not quite all the way down. He's going to blast those up. Again, we're working the chest the way it should be worked, which is from the cleavage out, not from the outside in like you would get with bench presses. Beautiful, beautiful combination that works the function of the chest together. And it's a great finishing combination move. Coach, how'd that feel? Feels good, and it's a, it's a big difference between uh, doing the, the bigger movement, the dumbbell press first, and then finishing with the fly. When you get that uh, that nice stretch and, and the full contraction with the cables, you don't need super heavy dumbbells either. So if someone does have a little bit of tweaked shoulder or something like that, and they can get a lot out of the dumbbell presses still. It's all about activating muscles first, and then using overload as the principle. So that's a great combination finisher. The able cable horizontal flies, uh, supersetted with the flat dumbbell press.